Hello and welcome to Tidbeats. My name is Konstantin and in today's episode I will talk about audio bouncing in Bidwig. I've prepared two examples for this episode and two variants for each of those examples. Let's give example one a listen. As you can hear, it's just a short plug sound with a bit of delay. And if we now listen to example 1b, there's barely any difference. Now let's bounce them out and look at the resulting audio. Now we can clearly tell that there is a difference in the resulting audio that is bounced out. Example 1a does only contain the raw sound and example 1b contains the original sound with the delay. So let's look at the device chains and try to figure out what's going on. In example 1a, we have a polysynth followed by a delay. So in this example, only the sound that is output by the polysynth is actually bounced out when we bounce in place. In example 1b, however, we have the delay as part of the effects chain of the polysynth. And what that does is it makes essentially the delay a part of the sound and as such it is being bounced out when we bounce in place. Now you might ask, but how does this work for VSTs? VSTs don't have an FX container. And this is where you are wrong. They actually do, but it is a very well hidden feature. So let's listen to example two and then bounce them out. Let me switch this over quickly to example 2b. And as you can hear, there is no difference. So let's pause this and bounce this. Again, we have the same result as with example 1. Example 2a only contains the raw sound of the VST and example 2b contains the sound of the VST, including the delay. So how did I do that? Example 2a is trivial. It is simply the VST followed by the delay. And in example 2b, I'm taking advantage of the post FX chain of the VST. And that's a really nice Bidwig feature that took me quite a while to discover. It's this tiny arrow in the top right corner of your instrument. And that's all I had for today. Thank you for listening and see you next time.